that's small town America. The railroad played a very key role in, in helping the town grow and, and prosper early on. Well, the railroad left, but it left behind a beautiful little small town. It sure did, absolutely. And uh, in fact, uh, Orleans was the, there was a lot of firsts because Orleans is the oldest town. Um, there was a battle in 1848 between the neighboring town of Paoli, which became the county seat in Orleans, of who would get the first railroad. and. Um, Orleans uh, folks really came and, and uh, stepped up and they raised $40,000, which was called subscription money, and uh, was able to uh, prevail. And so the first train came through uh, Orleans in 1851. And when they laid the tracks, they had to make a huge curve. And so if you go out through the, by the Stetson house, you'll see how they had to make a huge curve to pass through the town. But Orleans. Today we, uh, we're still rivals with basketball, but in 1848 we were uh, playing for something a little larger and that was the railroad and or Little Orleans prevailed. We also uh, had the very first group of uh, volunteers to fight in the Civil War it was made up all of Orleans uh, boys who answered Lincoln's call in 1861. We had a Brigadier General from Orleans, William T. Spicely, and um, he served, uh, was a key a role in the Battle of Vicksburg. Uh, he was wounded twice. Uh, miraculously, he survived the war, came back home, was a teacher at the academy, and became postmaster. But William T. Spicely is buried here in Orleans and uh, was a brigadier general. Where is the cemetery? It's right. So um, that's the general you spoke that's of. William T. Spicely. And you said, say, tell me again on this document. This, this is, is his original commission for brigadier general. And Lincoln would have signed Lincoln this, but he was assassinated. It. Unfortunately, he was assassinated. So, so Andrew Johnson, Lincoln's vice president, signs it along with Edmund Stanton, who was Lincoln's secretary of war. Sure. That's an interesting document. A wonderful piece. Yeah, you're not kidding. Are you from Orleans? Uh, no, we're actually from Louisville originally. We moved oh. to Paoli 10 years ago, moved to, moved to Pumpkin Center, and then we moved out to Hardinsburg, which is still in Orange County. Got it. How do you like Orange County and the surrounding area? Love it. Would you rather be here than Louisville? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. You go to places like this, and you know several people here, so. How, what do you think of Orleans? Uh, Orleans is probably one of the nicest, cleanest towns in Orange County, considering the resort, which is French Lake. Yeah. And that actually is still Orange County also. Yeah, it is a pretty little town, isn't it, it is. Orleans? It is. Yes. We have a town council. We have okay. three members that are elected. They serve four-year terms, and then we elect a clerk treasurer. And uh, is that you? That's me. Currently, that's my my honor to serve. And so, the clerk treasurer in a small town kind of becomes a little bit of everything. He's the historian. He's the chamber of commerce. He's the visitor center. He's the telephone operator. He, he's the guy who has to stop what he's doing on Saturday to help the history right. mystery man. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but you're life. like kind of like the mayor here, Mister. Yeah, so that's homecoming. That's homecoming day, 1911, and uh, you see the old cars decorated there. Okay, go. This is after after they tore the schoolhouse down, so they had a pile of bricks. So they decided, well, let's let's make a park. So the original playground, you see the original basketball court, the playground, and the kids today, we, had, we tell them, you know, why, you, you wonder why the playground's there, why the basketball courts, that was where you had recess. That was the original playground for the children that went to school. So we put a fountain, we put sidewalks in, here's the original bandstand. And Which is still there. Still there today, and, but it's a nice shot of, of the east side of the town square, looking up from, from an aerial view. Hey, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned small-town art store? Hey, 
Hey there. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. And, and you must be an artist. And do you specialize in any particular art? I would say pet portraits would be my That's, favorite. Yeah. Is it hard to make it in the art business in small town America? It's not my full-time job. No. no. Do you wish you could be a full-time oh. artist? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard that one before. Yeah. What, what's your job outside of this? I'm a project engineer for oh. Cook Medical. Oh, really? I've been there 21 years. Are you from Orleans? Yes. Did you grow up here? Yeah. Well, how's my your... husband and I both. That is so <laughs> interesting. How, how has your life been growing up in Little Orleans, Indiana? I love small town. Um, Me too. I chose a small campus when I went to college. And when we first got married, we lived in Bloomington for a while. But by the time our oldest son turned five, we decided to stay here. Yeah. To come back here. So he could go through school here and both our sons go through school here. Why? This is a pretty little town, though, isn't it? I love it. it there is the little, it's, it's charming is what it is. I can see why you'd love it mm -hmm. and why you'd want to raise your family I think here. it's been featured in magazines as being um, a town like most like Mayberry. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, well... And now the History Mystery Man is going to feature it. And, uh, <laughs> the paintings here are all from classes that I do mm -hmm. where um, people can come in and paint along with me or I have some um, students who come in and take private lessons. Yeah. Um, since COVID hit, though, I can't have people in here, so I've gotcha. switched to Facebook Live. Um, and I'll put together little paint kits people can come pick up, and they go back home, and they follow me on Facebook Live. That's interesting. And paint at home. You must be a busy lady if you're working full time and then running an art studio with classes in downtown Orleans. And since that's not enough, my husband and I and a couple, of, another couple, are getting ready to open a pizza shop on the north side. Are you square. kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God! I'm going to call the doctor here in yeah. a minute. I'm going to take so your temperature. Gonna, Thin and crispy, or or thick and chewy. Oven. We got a oh, oven. We got a brick oven. and that's right here in Orleans. Mm -hmm. When will it open? by the end of the month. Oh, so it's well in the process. Mm -hmm. What's it? What's the name of it going to be? Speakeasy. Speakeasy? Speakeasy Pizza. Whoa, is it got an old cellar where you go down and no. do it, do like the old Speakeasy? <laughs> no, but you made Come on, password you can, to get you, in. You can tell me. Come on, I won't tell anyone, I promise. No, that's, I. you know what? I'm, I'm coming back to have a brick oven pizza here. I'll guarantee it. Uh, th this, I, I have uh, essentially fallen in love with this little town today and I can tell you love it too yes I do, I do. my <laughs> husband and I actually wrote the same books in kindergarten that is so <laughs> cool this story is getting better and better k-i-s-s-i-n-g mm -hmm. <laughs> you rode the kindergarten bus with your husband yeah. now that is small town America <laughs> I love it and then we're gonna use these as the theme for their marching band show for next season which has been canceled now oh no but this flower is a musicari flower mm -hmm. and that was the theme of their show because my youngest son was going to be drum major this year oh no kidding mm -hmm. that's so sad for uh, yeah. all the cancellations with yeah. the high schoolers and the schools they didn't get the opportunity to experience their junior and senior right. years you know yeah. the parents did put on a prom it was last night did they really mm -hmm. The, the parents canceled it, but the parents took it up. And the school canceled the senior prom, mm -hmm. but the parents said no dice on that and yeah. did one anyway. Yeah. Again, we're talking about small mm -hmm. town America. That's a really interesting story. I not only love the charm and personality and character of small town America, I love the stories. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing some good ones here. This is like hitting yeah, the this is like hitting the jackpot so, for me. Uh, you are exceptionally an exceptionally <laughs> skilled artist. My goodness. I'm getting ready to do a similar composition um, that's going to commemorate Pumpkin Center building. Oh, you're so you're gonna buy this the building? Morning, I am. Oh, that's so cool. It's gonna be right next to the pizza shop. Right. Now. See the tallest building that says Farmer's Friend. Yeah. That's where I'll be. That's your pizza shop? No, that's where my art studio is going to be. Oh, where's the pizza, the pizza shop? The pizza shop is right to the left. And you bought that building? I'm going to buy it. Down there? Yep. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. You should be. That building probably goes back to about 1898, somewhere in there. What's upstairs in that building? It's just empty. 
Maybe. Okay. Possibilities are upstairs. Possibilities. <laughs> you have a dance hall up there. My son wants dance a studio. pipe for a skateboard. Oh, okay. Well, there's, an, there's an idea. <laughs> Pizza. So your art studio will be in the tall building. And then the one next door to the left would be your brick oven pizza, brick oven pizza the uh, speakeasy. Ooh. <laughs> Come in and order a Capone. Uh, sign me up. Before my husband and I got married, he was working in Chicago. Oh. And I actually <laughs> went to school to be a high school math teacher. Hmm. And I had some interviews there. And by the time I actually made it back to his apartment, I said, if we're going to live here, I'm not working. I'm going to stay in the apartment and never come out. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> and you, that, that was then. How would you like to try it now? <laughs> Actually, we, we decided to live in Bloomington, and I taught high school math for one semester. Hmm. Isn't it funny how life has those twists and turns from high school math to... Most people don't think that math and art go together, but they do. Hmm. And I've been working as an engineer for 21 years, so... Wow, you are an interesting lady. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be the new art studio. And now we're going in the brick oven pizza shop, or what's going to be the brick oven pizza shop. My friends, speak easy. This is going to be a really awesome space. Look at these. Did you guys, who, who, did you guys build that, those bench seats? I did. You did that? That is so cool uh the tables are awesome i'm just i know you're still in the construction phase but you're you're going to be open here and what uh i don't know well i'm glad that didn't hit you in the face it was headed that way um you're going to be open what, another month maybe yes i hope we have run hopefully in two weeks but we'll two see. weeks we'll okay see. and you know what i love orleans um, my first day here to spend some time and what i have noticed is that you guys could use a couple more places to eat i mean you know humans do eat you, you knew that right so um but yeah i mean so what i'm saying is this this is going to go over big i'm telling you, you guys are going to do well here me and my partner both have day jobs and uh, i'm a union carpenter he's a union sheet metal worker and we really love to be able to make this our full time job so we're all, uh, got a brick oven uh, pizza, it's gas and wood. Uh, so we specialize in like craft, homemade pizzas where we make our own dough, we make our own sauce, uh, authentic, novelty style pizzas. So. I admire you guys. Um, I know you b both do um, full time gigs outside of your art studio and a union carpenter outside of starting a business, which, you know, starting a business is a full time gig in itself. Yes. and the way you guys have done it remodeled and all the work you're putting in i really admire that and um and i hope you get to where you want to be which is moving away from maybe the carpenter business and doing this full time uh i can see where that would be completely satisfying my wife she'll be next door i'm working here with my buddy i'm doing what i enjoy and what a beautiful view right across from congress square in orleans indiana uh, and you, where are you from? About three blocks up the road. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's right. You both are from here. What, what does it mean to you to start a business in the little town you grew up in? Uh, I mean, it, it's great. I mean, you know everybody in the community. Uh, everybody's excited. Uh, I mean, it's just personal. It's like one big family. So. Yeah. I think everyone's anxious to support yeah that, that's what i like about one of the things i like about small towns is that people want to help each other and want to do business with each other um it's not all about amazon here in uh in orleans it's about the speakeasy brick oven pizza shop and i'll be one of your first customers <laughs> mister <laughs> this is so neat I, I wish you all the best and i thank you for inviting me in for a sneak peek of speakeasy today and where's that brick oven is that it back there Ooh. I, got, I might as well see that while I'm here. That's, that's interesting, that's quite a piece. Man, you got plenty of room for pizza pie. So we'll cook them at uh, probably around between seven and 800 degrees, and it takes about three minutes to cook pie. Are you serious? Yep. That fast? That fast. So, that's incredible. 
uh, should hold about seven pizzas at once. How cool having a business in your hometown. I mean, after seeing this place, I can see where one could be happy here and want to stay. I mean, especially if you can sustain yourself here. Well, you want to be the speakeasy uh, uh, brick oven pizza place full time, and I want to be the history mystery man full time. So <laughs> awesome. I'm, I'm going to keep at it. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think you might get there faster with pizza pie. <laughs> Kirby Hardware. Building's been here forever. And we're going in. Robert Finley, who runs the store, has been here 51 years. Is it hard to make it in the hardware business in a tiny little small town? It's pretty tough in a small town. You yeah. Know, a lot of it's just trying to stay loyal to town. You know, sure. But I bet you have a lot of loyal customers that yeah. would rather buy here you than do. go to Walmart or, you, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then with this pandemic, you know, people even don't want to go to Walmart or Lowe's more if they can help it. Just stay home yeah. and buy their hardware. Yeah. yeah. Any idea what the building used to be or how far back the building goes? Uh, they tell me one time they worked on or sold carriages upstairs. There's no elevator to buy. They Wait a minute. Upstairs. Sold what upstairs? Carriages, horse really? Carriages, yeah. So they built them and sold them here. I don't know if they just sold them or worked on them up there. But there's no elevator they would use to take them upstairs. Oh wow! So <laughs> this building has been standing here a long time. I mean, I look at these hardwood floors, and I've got to believe those are original hardwood floors. They say 19 or 1880s, 1890s. Wow! Can I peek at that old elevator? Yeah. I love small town hardware stores. Where are you from? I'm from Toledo, Ohio. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just love small towns. And I have fallen in love with... I, I, hey, wife. Hello. Betsy? Yes. How are you, Betsy? I'm good. How are you? How do you like Orleans, Indiana? Um, I love it. Born and raised here. Yeah? Yeah. That's so cool. And, and you still love it? I do. I do. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. That's... Well, the old, elevator. old elevator that takes you up to the you second level. Pull them in here and then them up and that door would open. Wow, and, and as best as we can tell, they built horse carriages on that second level. Or, or yeah. Or, or worked on them, yes. Or worked on them. Wow. That's really interesting. I live for this stuff. I love your store. I think it's neat. Look at this. Look how old. I like that. It's got so much character and grit. If I want hardware parts, this is where I want to get them. Now, if we, if we got it, we can find it. <laughs> if you got it, you can find it. Okay. Test that. That's the scale you still use. Oh, yeah. Every day. Like you weigh your nails or whatever nails, on your hardware. Got to wonder how long ago that was built. And of course, back then, they built things to last 100 years. Oh, yeah. And that's why you're still using it. That's really interesting. Love your store. Thank you. I almost want to buy some Colorado potato beetle juice. <laughs> you Are you also from Orangeville or Orangeville? Orleans. Orleans. I'm alive. Uh, that's, and, and you too. Yes. Yeah. So has it been a good life in Orleans, Indiana? Wouldn't go anywhere else. Yep. We love it here. What is it? You, what I hear that from a lot of people. What is it about this place that everybody loves so much? Just small town. Everybody knows each other. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes a bad thing. But yeah, that's you know, okay. Everybody's that, got your back. Exactly. When you fall down, someone's gonna pick oh, you up. Yeah. They'll talk behind your back after that. But oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. That's I'd rather right. have them pick me up. You know, when I fall. But it is a beautiful little town. It's really pretty. I could see where a family would want to live and raise their children here and stay. Yep. Uh, you guys, any aspirations of leaving? No. <laughs> I love it. No. I love it. Awesome. Good choice.
that's small town America. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> OMG, it really is to get to the other side. I, I thought that was just a joke, I'm not kidding. All this time I thought that was just a joke. Unbelievable. Show off.